Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Brent McGrath and I am the host of Talks and Discussions, What Matters and What Doesn't Matter. And today we have a special guest. Actually, this guy is an old friend of mine from NXP. His name is Dorian, Dorian. Morones. How are you doing, Dor uh, Dorian? Hey, Brent. Doing good. How are you? Very, very good. You're a web engineer, correct? Correct, sir. Okay. Can you give us some background about yourself? Sure. Um, well, basically, I just started working on multiple um, advertising agencies in Guadalajara, Mexico. Okay. Then I moved to NXP Semiconductor, which is a big company. Mm -hmm. I, I made you in, in NXP. Great. Then I moved to a Mexican startup, a body learning called Kineru. And finally, tomorrow is my first day working for a U.S. company here in the United States called Raptor Maps. Oh, man. <laughs> interesting. Raptor <laughs> Maps. That's an interesting name for a company. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Luis Burgos left NXP for greener pastures up north in the U.S., and you did the same. Can you walk us through your process, how you got to where you are now today? Sure. Um, my process was a bit different than Luis. Mm -hmm. uh, I moved to the United States by, by COVID because my wife, well, at that time was my girlfriend, mm -hmm. uh, moved to the United States with her mom just to, to start living here again. She's a, a USA citizen. Okay. And I come to, to visit her for a couple of months because in my last work, I, can, I work remotely. So I have that, um, that perk. Mm -hmm. And when I arrived to the United States was the first day that the United States started lockdown. So I have no possibilities to come back to Mexico. Right. And I start my, my legal process to be a legal resident here. Okay. And basically was how I arrived to the United States was crazy, was, was, was hard because uh, was not in my plans or not at that time, mm -hmm. but here I am trying to do my best. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. How hard was it to fit into a new culture and a new work environment? What well, was, was hard honestly, because I was kind of a familiar working in an office between 9 a.m. to 5, 6 p.m., mm -hmm. talking with others, drinking coffee. And when COVID started, uh, pushed me to work remotely and push me to a different country. So it was, was really hard because I don't, I don't felt um, confident with myself talking English here. Okay. Because I, I got to Walmart to, to refill gasoline, something like that. And everything is in English. Mm -hmm. So um, perhaps that you know the, the, the words to, to request something, you don't feel like uh, you are doing it in a good way. <laughs> right, right. And Toastmaster helped a lot, absolutely. And you know it does master because it brings you confident in yourself. Yes. However, it was hard because uh, in, in food, uh, meeting people, everything is hard. Because, for example, for me, I love tacos and I cannot find a good tacos here. It's yeah. kind of a different, total different thing. Um, when I go to Walmart, maybe the, the cashier the first day um, say me, hey, do you want a membership or something like that? But because I was afraid, I never understand that the first time because I was afraid. <laughs> yeah, that happens, yes. Yeah, but so far it's doing better. I think that I can, I can talk a bit confident with everybody. Mm -hmm. And it's good, it's good. It was hard the first two, three months, but it's going good. Well, I'm glad for you. It's, it's always difficult when you change country to country and especially going to the United States where you have to speak English, me coming down here and having to speak Spanish, it's kind of the same you know, the same, uh, same thing. It's just different languages. Yeah. yeah, it is. Okay. So how, how do you continue to learn English in, in the U S lockdown? Like, what are you doing besides going to Walmart? <laughs> uh, I, I, I do some work arounds. I was talking with you before this, this um, meeting mm -hmm. about those master online version uh, yeah. could be a good approach, but I use Lingo. Lingo is a kind of a, speaking platform for, mm -hmm. for English language. Uh, I tried it a couple of times mm -hmm. and also I joined um, video games and I open channels for speakers oh, yeah. Yeah. and everybody is talking in English. So, but, but microphones and English help a lot to understand. <laughs> That's true. If I remember correctly, most, most video games are in English, aren't they? Correct. And I put everything in English on my devices. I mean, my cell phone, my computer, my my games are in English, so to push me to to understand, because if I keep 
put in everything in Spanish, it will not help a lot, obviously. That's true. Yes, yeah, true. Okay. So your journey has been a long journey. You, you said before when we talked that it was about 11 months or 12 months from leaving Mexico to going to the States and getting a job. So can you tell us a little bit about how you learned a lot, I know, in Toastmasters. So how did you apply or, or, or how did what you learned from Toastmasters help you on your journey? Yeah. Basically, for, for me, at least, the best skill that, the very skill that Toastmasters gave me was to, to speak fluent. Maybe I will just speak in the better way with the better words, but I will be fluent. Right. So if I didn't have that skill from Toastmasters, I, I think being United States will be a little... Uh, a lot of more hard mm -hmm. because you feel like, uh, okay, I can do it. Not in a better way, but I can do it. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I got from Toastmaster. It was long because legal process and all those things. 11 months. Uh, I, I arrived to the United States in March 2020. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, I think Toastmaster was the key to, to survive three months here. Because when I was talking with you my, in my first classes, you said, I remember perfectly, you said, we, we are talking here. So how, how do you think that you cannot speak in English if we are talking? Mm -hmm. And that's true. <laughs> yeah. So I, I remember that, that phrase many times when I go, go out to, to the <laughs> United States jungle. <laughs> yeah, when, when, uh, when we were teaching English and stuff, I mean, a lot of people, most people that I run into in Mexico have the same, um, they have the same problem. They think their English is bad and it's not. It's just that uh, you don't have enough time to practice. You don't have enough people to practice with. And now that you're in the States and you're practicing, you'll find that your English is pretty good and you understand a lot. It's just getting over the nervousness and the fear of looking stupid. Because even myself down here, I, I try to pronounce new words and I feel stupid sometimes trying to pronounce something and it comes out totally wrong. And yeah. the person doesn't understand you, you're standing like, what the heck, eh? So <laughs> yeah, it happens a lot. And yeah. and you will never learn if you don't try, you know. If yeah, you yeah. don't fail, you will never be better. Yeah, you gotta fail to, to move past the, the point where you want to uh, succeed in your life. Well, thanks yeah. very much, Dorian, for all the information. I'm pretty sure that the information that you shared today will help a lot of our listeners and and uh, probably help some people who want to go from Mexico to the United States, or maybe from the States to Mexico, who knows? I mean, people are traveling all over the world these days and working remotely for just about everything under the sun. Yeah, and, and just to add, I mean, we talked about this before the meeting, mm -hmm. for people that have the idea to move to the United States to, to, to work in the tech industry, just try it. I mean, it's the same that is in Mexico. It's the same technology. The people are really, really cool. Mm -hmm. It's not like a the people that you see in the movie in in the tv or in the in the news you know what i mean <laughs> i know i, I wonder it, where those people are because we don't when i talk to you or luis they don't exist but <laughs> that's right yeah. and what what i did was to find a company that looks cool for me mm -hmm. try to understand the, the, the tech stack um understand the their culture and just applied i failed kind of a 18 16, eight interviews, mm -hmm. but here I am. I already got a job and, and it is what it is. Just try it, try it. If you don't try, you never know if you are ready or not. That's very true. Good, good advice from a man who's done it. Hey, been there, done <laughs> that and got the t-shirt. That's a great, great way to go out. Thanks very much for coming in today. And I hope, I'm pretty sure that the information that you've given us today will help somebody out there. And that's all you're, that's all we're trying to do anyway. Alrighty. It was a pleasure as always. Take care. Take care. Be safe. Bye-bye.